Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could be here. Uh, we're going to take a good look at God's Word and, um, and see how God's Word acts like an antidote in our lives. You know, that's the best thing about God's Word. God's Word convicts us, God's Word, God's Word refines us, purifies us. And we also see that it's like an antidote. An antidote is a medicine that counteracts the poison and uh, counteracts something that is unhealthy, something that is unpleasant. Now that's an antidote. So God's word, which is sharper than any two-edged sword, is like an antidote that counteracts that very thing that, that tries to destroy, that tries to be toxic in our lives, right? So here is God's antidote for spiritual stagnation, right? If we have lived, if we reach a place where we're saying, you know, my life is stagnant, I seem to be not growing at all, I've seemed to reach, I've seemed to have reached a place and I'm and I'm at a place where I'm not going beyond that. I seem to have hit a ceiling. Now, God's word gives us the very antidote for that kind of a situation, for that condition in our lives. So we're going to look at 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verses 12 to 15. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12 says, Let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Now, as we go through each of these verses, um, the last verse, uh, which is verse 15, it says that your progress may be evident to all. So it prescribes certain instructions and Paul is prescribing certain things and he says that your progress may be evident to all. Meaning that there will be progress, that there will be spiritual progress and this progress will be evident or clear and we put on display for everyone to see. So the first thing is in verse 12, it says, be an example to all believers. So be an example in, in conduct, in motive, in speech, in faith, in everything, in love, in purity, be an example. So let your light so shine before them. Be an example to all believers the way you conduct your life in everything in our words the words that we speak in our conversations in our speech be an example the second thing he says is in verse 13 till i come give attention to reading to exhortation to doctrine so the reading of god's word the study of god's word very very important so he's saying till i come give attention to that you know be mindful of that uh, of the focus on God's word, study God's word. Thirdly, in verse 14, we see Paul writes, do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy, by the laying on of the hands of the eldership. So he's saying, don't neglect it, stir it up, walk in it, use the spiritual gifts that, are, that were given to you. So we have, the gifts of the Spirit, which is for every believer. So he's saying, stir it up, use the gift. Stir, don't neglect the gift that is given to you. So open your life up to the, the power and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And in verse 15, the last instruction that he gives is this, that meditate on these things, give yourself entirely to them. So meditate on these things. Think deeply about these things. Let your mind be occupied with these things, you know, with these truths that he has uh, placed before us. And he's saying, give yourself entirely or wholeheartedly, give yourself to them that your progress may be evident to all. So just want to en encourage us to carry on or apply, carry out or apply these instructions in our lives. And we will break through that ceiling of stagnancy in our lives. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you, Lord, that there is always hope, that there is always good news in the Word. And I pray especially for those of us who are feeling stuck or stagnant spiritually and otherwise in their lives. And I just pray, God, that even as we follow through with these instructions, let our lives be an example and we give attention to reading and the reading and study of God's Word. And uh, even as we meditate on these things and uh, even as we uh, expose ourselves and give ourselves to the gifts of the Spirit, not neglect the gifts of the Spirit, 
and as we give ourselves wholeheartedly, Lord, I, we thank you that there will be progress and this progress will be evident to all. And so, God, we commit ourselves, uh, each one into your mighty hands. May we experience the truth and the victory uh, of this word. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.